It could not be any more obvious that the NBA is rigging games because their viewership sucks. So here's my conspiracy on how the NBA is rigging games to get LeBron back in the finals. So last night, the Raptors played the Lakers, right? And the Lakers won by a single point. Now I want everyone to take a quick look at these team stats here and tell me where something looks a little bit different, right? I'll give you a second. Hint, it's right by my head. The free throws. The Raptors shot 8 for 13 at the free throw line. The Lakers shot 28 for 36. But here's the kicker. 23 of those free throws came in the fourth quarter. Meaning that damn near every time the Lakers went to take a shot in the fourth quarter, they were calling foul. And the Raptors head coach, Darko Rajakovic, went crazy at the postgame presser. Watch it. 23 free throws in that fourth quarter. What did you Thank you, Doug. Thank you, Doug. That's, that's, that's outrageous. What happened tonight, this is completely BS. This is shame. Shame for the referees, shame for the league to allow this. 23 free throws for them, and we get two free throws in the, in the fourth quarter. Like, how to play the game. I, all, I understand uh, respect for all stars and all that, but we have star players on our team as well. How's possible is Scotty Barnes? who is all-star caliber player in this league, he goes every single time to the rim with force and trying to get, get uh, to, the, to the rim without flopping and, and not trying to get foul calls. He gets two uh, free throws for the whole game. How is that possible? How are you going to explain that, that, that to me? They had to win tonight? If that's, if that's the case, just let us know so we don't show up for the game. Just give them a win. But that, that was not fair tonight. And this is not happening first time for us. Scotty Barnes is going to be all-star. He's going to be the face of this league. And what, what's happening over here during whole season, I've been holding it back. It's a complete crap. And I know what you're thinking. Why would the NBA be breaking games? Like, why not just let it play out? Well, the Lakers are 19-19, and 19, meaning that if the playoffs started today, the Lakers wouldn't be in it, and they would be lottery-bound. But the entire problem here is that NBA ratings suck. This is supposed to be Adam Silver. I had AI do this. It's like a... Walmart Adam Silver. So now Adam Silver's thinking, oh my God, the NBA Finals looks like it might be like Giannis Antetokounmpo who can't even barely speak English or Carl Anthony Towns who like people know, but is he that much of a superstar? Like he doesn't have the allure of LeBron James. Or even if it's not Carl Anthony Towns, it could be Anthony Edwards or Rudy Gobert who started COVID in the NBA pretty much. Or if the Nuggets go back to the NBA Finals, they have Nikola Jokic who just doesn't give a fuck about the game and just wants to go back to Serbia and watch his horses race. So what do we need to do? We need to start getting the refs on the Lakers' side so they can at least get into playoff contention a little bit to boost the ratings. Because is there anything better than having LeBron James in the finals to boost ratings? Not only does it boost ratings on TV throughout the seven-game series, it's going to boost ratings online. Because what happens online after LeBron goes to the championships? We've already experienced it a couple times. Everyone's saying, is LeBron now better than MJ? And then we have a month and a half Two months long discussion on ESPN, all these talk shows, Pat McAfee show, on Twitter, wherever. Is LeBron now the greatest of all time as he cemented his spot? They get more publicity, which will ultimately increase ratings and increase the bottom line and the amount of money made in the NBA this season. Am I on to something here? Or should I take my tinfoil hat off?